Thank you, everyone, and Jan, thanks very much for having us back to the 10th anniversary. Um, I'm Mitch, I'm from Electrikea. Behind me, you can see our uh, first pilot plant, which has been operating in Denmark, just south of Copenhagen, at the wastewater treatment plant at Avedur for three years. So we've de-risked our technology technologically for three years on this site. And what we do is we take renewable energy from the local grid. We take carbon dioxide that comes from the anaerobic digester at this site. We combine the two of those together in a reactor that has a biological organism that's actually older than I am. I think other than those organisms, I'm the oldest thing in the company. They're archaea, and they make methane for a living. So we take CO2, renewable energy, that comes from the grid, and we convert it into methane that's grid quality. That's power to gas, that's what we do. And we're trying to scale that to the grid scale. Our vision is to become the leading provider of power to methane uh, worldwide. We have patents for our technology that protects our catalyst and some of our technology and, uh, and control systems worldwide. The goal ultimately is to decarbonize the, the gas grid, which is an existing asset, which is actually the biggest battery that we have that's already been constructed and is distributed in most developed countries. And our strategy is to license our technology to take advantage of the existing capital. And so we're seeking partners and in incumbents in the existing utility industry and project developers who will put scale uh, reactors of the type you see, uh, you saw on the first slide, in, um, into, uh, to work. So the snapshot is we're now a growth stage company still with this grid scale renewable energy storage technology. We are addressing an existential risk to the gas grid right now. If it doesn't decarbonize, it won't be around. The investors and the owners and operators of the gas grid understand this. We have a technology that's been validated in the plant you saw earlier and two other plants that we have operating now, one which will be commissioned this month in Switzerland and another that's at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in Golden, Colorado. And we have a set of exclusive patents covering that technology. We've recently closed a Series C round of financing that was led by Storengy and with very strong support from uh, participants in our first venture capital round who are here today, and that's Energy360. Energy 360 and Munich Venture Partners. Um, the current market drivers for this power to gas solution are many, but the only one that pays today is the one at the bottom, and that is producing renewable fuels for the transportation market. And the only market where that's profitable today is in California, so that's where our focus is shifting. The reason for doing this in Southern California is to provide a big battery and a storage site for this renewable um, energy. And for scale purposes, just to give you an idea of, of the scale of the energy storage, in California, the energy grid has roughly 120 terawatt hours of storage capacity. If you had a fleet of 10 million vehicles, electric vehicles in California, that would be a little bit less than 1% of that storage capacity. From a scale perspective, this is the best battery you've got. We're addressing very large markets in, those, uh, in three sectors. We think it will take us 10 or 15 years to reach them. We have a really cool technology. These little green guys in there are the Archaea. Um, it's very simple chemistry. And they've known how to do it for 3.8 billion years. We have a simple and scalable design that we can transfer to EPC contractors and to our partners. And we have ambitions. And our, and our primary ambition is to get this technology in the marketplace as quickly as possible so that it can scale to meet two really pressing needs. The first one is to take advantage of the currently available and often curtailed or low-priced renewable electricity that is fundamentally going to waste. We've invested capital in those assets and it's not being put to good use. We can store that energy in the grid. The second thing that we're really trying to address is the problem of decarbonizing the gas grid. It actually delivers more energy to us on a daily basis than our electrical grid. And annually, in many countries, it's two-thirds of the actual energy delivered. So we need to decarbonize the gas grid, and we're providing a path forward to do that. So we're looking for partners to help us do that. We have a talented team um, to help you do that. So if any of you are interested in helping us in this expansion, either as partners, please join the club. Thank you very much.